Finally, after eight long years, the Los Angeles Lakers win their opening game. LeBron's first win in his opening game as a Laker. J.J. Reddick's first win as a head coach. LeBron and Bronny made history been on the court together. Such a dope moment. The first father-son duel in NBA history. Hey there. Hello and welcome. I am the sports judge. I got great content for the sports fans. So if you like the content and like sports, hit the subscribe button. Congratulations. The Lakers are now crowned NBA champions. Kidding. There's still a lot of basketball to be played. It's a marathon. I'm happy with the results last night. It's one game, but they actually look like a real basketball team on opening night. And that felt that felt so good to see. It was nice to see them win the first of 82 games by just seven points. It's still only one game. But there was a difference in the level of coaching with the Lakers. Two big lineups, great off-ball sets, limiting turnovers. They looked like a well-coached basketball team. My takeaways from last night's game, I liked the collective effort by them. I thought they executed some good help the helper situations. Guys switched and doubled and played above the level of the screen. D low forcing Anthony Edwards to the crowded side. I was amazed by how this team looked under JJ Reddick, showed energy on the glass, getting out and scoring 19 points in transition and winning the turnover battle. I like to see that the coaches were in the players' ears on the small details. Can't say enough about the effort. Hachimura had on the Lakers last night. I think if he is being aggressive, scoring, and playing with effort and, chase, and chasing the glass for offensive and defensive rebounds, it certainly makes them better. I think the biggest change potentially is James embracing a more off-ball role, which Reddick hopes results in more threes. So I like that Reddick wants to elevate Anthony Davis, and keep LeBron James off the ball. Anthony Davis delivered a master class. I mean, it was an absolute master class. You know, I'm in a good mood. I'm in a very good mood after last night's game. And, and today, I got I, I, I to gotta, I gotta listen to folks talk about how the Lakers are the best team in the West after just one game. <laughs> Laughing out loud, you know? It's true. They're at the top of the West right now, but it's a long 82 game season. It's hard for me to look at this game and say Anthony Davis can play like he's the world's best player in all 82 games, but I got to give him his flowers for last night's game because he certainly looked like the best player in the world. Monster night for AD, 36 points, 16 rebounds, three blocks. It's as if my guy was on a mission. With last night's win, the Lakers moved to 198-74 and 74 when AD is the leading scorer. This is the AD we need. He's the lead man on this team now, and I think LeBron is at, at this point in his career where he has no issue letting others around him eat. If AD can keep this up, he's going to be a terror for other teams this season, judging from those kind of numbers. Imagine AD stays doing this and stays healthy. I'll say LeBron is more energized and engaged with his son on the team. And now what you have is your franchise guy, the ageless wonder at age 39. LeBron looks completely locked in and invested. You're going to get the best out of him. When you give it your all, that's the reward. It, it doesn't matter what my thoughts were. Seeing LeBron and Bronny peel off their warm-up jerseys after approaching the scores table was one of the coolest things ever. Playing an NBA game with his son was his dream, and he got a chance to live it. And I literally shouted, no, 
when we drafted him. The pick made no sense to me. Of course, it wasn't a business plan. The whole thing was manufactured by LeBron, co-signed by his good friend and new coach, J.J. Redick. LeBron pulled his son into the NBA. It's about selling tickets. It's about drawing an audience. It's about making money. It's a show. Looks good after just one game. I guess now I'm all for it. I really don't have a choice as a fan, right? I have to accept it for what it is, and there were a lot of positives to take away. They looked really good. And truthfully, I got a little emotional watching Bronny check into the, the Lakers game with his dad. I thought about my late father and I. That's the first thing that crossed my mind. The relationship my dad and I uh, shared together. It was a great father and son moment. Everything went their way last night, and they won the game. I'm excited to see how the Lakers season unfolds. It was a collective victory. Listen, for as bad as they looked last last season, they played a lot more active and with more effort, especially on the boards and in defensive rotations. Also, much more fluid on offense. Guys were being put in spots where they can succeed. If they had shot the ball more efficiently, they could have blown out Minnesota. Easily could be better. I think they will be better offensively compared to last year, but it's still early. Great ball movement with the ball and, and transition and in transition, but a lot of unnecessary shots were being thrown up. Their three point shooting was atrocious. Looking at the makeup of this Lakers team, that could be a big problem in the long run. Stop jacking up threes, get better shots. I think if they clean up that, if they clean up some of that, fix those open miss threes and be better with their sh selection of shots, they, they should be okay. Being able to generate good shots 65% of the time is a start. The next step is to be able to shoot 90% of the time. Shooting must improve. Shooting must improve. Imagine if the Lakers hit some open shots last night. This could have been a blowout. If you watch last night, they played hard for a full 48 minutes. It's, it's been a long time since I've seen that. And it really didn't matter that they shot the ball poorly because they still led the whole game. Exciting start to the season. Love the performance from Austin Reeves, who was more aggressive. Guys were locked in on the defensive side of the floor. I was impressed last night. JJ looks like he knows what he's doing. AD was a beast. Hutchamora was fantastic. Good coaching, accountability, ran sets, crashed the boards. And though they didn't shoot well, they, they still won the game. The way they played last night made me like the team more. It, it really made me like this team more. That was the best season opener they've had since before the bubble. Look, 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 like, look at the game plan. Looked like they had a game plan and executed it bril brilliantly. It was beautiful to watch. Finally, running the offense through AD. I have to say, this team impressed me because I would think it would have required a determined learning curve with the, with the new offense and that it would probably take time for JJ to put the players in the right position. But no. They came out and went to work right out of the gates. The hustle, effort, the ball movement, and confidence. Solid win for the Lakers. That was a great win for them last night. I like what I saw from the Los Angeles Lakers. Hopefully they can keep this up. Hopefully this is sustainable. Hopefully they keep playing at a high level and consistent. consistently. If they do that. They should be fine and, and, and stand healthy. AD has to stay healthy. We know at times he's made a broken glass. He has to stay healthy. If he can stay healthy, if they can execute like they did last night and they, they stick to the game plan, the Lakers should be a contending team in the West. 
Thanks for watching, everyone. Really appreciate the love and support. I'm getting out of here now. It's been fun chatting with y'all. As always, it's fun talking sports. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining me. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We'll talk again soon. Checking out. Peace.